Let's start with NASA, this debate about the 100. Now, we're just a few months away. How excited are you? And do you think this tournament can be a real success? Yeah, really excited, especially after the news yesterday that fingers crossed, if everything goes to plan, we can have crowds in, you know, maybe a month before the start of this tournament. Watching other domestic tournaments, PSL we've got on at Sky at the moment, IPL, and you see the quality of the cricketers. I'm not saying that our domestic cricket doesn't have quality, but it's thinly spread over 18 counties. To have a more condensed version and have people come in from all around the world. I was doing some sides last night, and when you actually put the eight sides down and look at them, you've got international players virtually all the way through. And if they're not international players, they are young guns who are going to learn from international players. You look at the IPL, and you look at some of those young Indian players, the reason they've got better is because they're playing with quality cricketers day in, day out. So I'm hugely excited. There'll always be a bit of criticism. There was criticism for T20 cricket when it first kicked off. India didn't get T20 cricket until MS Dhoni's side won in uh, Johannesburg and beat Pakistan in the final. Brendan McCullum smashes 150 in the first IPL game, and look where we are now. So I'm really excited. What we need is a good pitch, good weather, and some crowds back, hopefully. Yeah, let's hope for all three of those. A key aim for this competition is to try to grow the game. How much do you think that this could really inspire a new generation, of not just fans, but players as well? I think it's vital, really, because I think when you're wrapped up in the game, like I have been for 500 years or whatever it is, <laughs> you forget that sometimes it's, you know, you're too much into it. You talk too much jargon. You talk about flippers and carambles and googlies and yorkers and bowling it out the back of the hand. And I know when I watch the golf sometimes and they get too technical and too analytical, you switch off. So I'm not saying we should dumb it down. I'm not saying this is a version just for the novices. Because believe me, when Jofra Archer is steaming in at Ben Stokes or Rashid Khan is bowling all his varieties at Owen Morgan, it won't be dumbed down. It will be cricket of the highest quality and all the people who love their cricket at the moment will get it and see it. It's for those who think, right, is cricket for me? Is it for my daughter? Is it for my son? Can I take them for a quick game in the evening, not spend too much money, and really just have that enjoyment? Just the currency of 100 balls, 10 outs, and runs. It's as simple as that. So it's not dumbing it down. It's just making it available for the masses. And you mentioned that big announcement yesterday, the government's announcement and the plans, and potentially restrictions will be over, and stadiums will hopefully be full. Just how much of a boost will that be? It'll be a huge boost. I mean, we did the coverage last year in difficult times, in COVID times. And in test matches, it was noticeable, but you just got away with it. The moment it was the T20 stuff, England, Australia, you felt that in white ball cricket, you feel in the shorter versions, the crowd is part of it. You know, finals day at Edgebaston, Bumble doing the running around with all the mascots and the crowd going mad. Um, you know, it is part of it. Six is into the crowd, fours, it is about entertainment. So the sooner we get our crowds back, the better. Players love it. Those star players, Ben Stokes, Headingley, with that crowd that day, they thrive off that pressure. They thrive off that inter interaction. Let's, so let's hope we get them back as soon as possible. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of crowds, something that stands out is how the tickets have been priced. So £10 is the starting price for adults. It's £5 for 6 to 15-year-olds and free for under fives. How important is that in making the game more accessible, as we've talked about? Yeah, because if we're going to try and target this new audience, it's absolutely, you know, you can't be spending hundreds of quids for, for a Lord's ticket for a test match or whatever. Even Blast Blast is comparable, but the high end of the Blast tickets can be expensive if you're taking your whole family along, but it is comparable. But the ECB would be silly, wouldn't they? They've got all these people locked up, waiting for some entertainment, waiting to go, for a, to go and watch. You would keep your ticket prices low. They're not going to make their money on the ticket pricing. You're not, that's not where this tournament is aimed at. It's not let's get money out. Of it's getting the crowds in, getting capacity, getting full houses and getting people entertained. That's what this is all about. So that's a really good start. Tenner and a fiver. So if you're a mum and a dad, two kids under 16, what's that? 30 quid for three hours proper entertainment with international cricketers. And it was also announced this morning that the inaugural match of the tournament is going to be a women's match. It's going to be the Oval Invincibles against Manchester Originals. Big statement of intent there, isn't it? Yeah, huge statement and the right thing to do. The one thing that, you know, I mentioned white ball cricket, but again, that was men's. Everything we've spoken about so far, this slot, has been men's. 
And women's cricket has been hard hit in the last year or so. I was lucky enough to be in that World Cup final at Lords at the MCG, 83,000 there, uh, to watch that Australia-India final. I was lucky enough to be in the crowd with my daughter, the 2017 England World Cup win in 50 overs, Anya Shrubsol bowling so well. Uh, and it inspired a generation of girls and boys who are in that crowd. So absolutely the ECB have made a really good statement. In fact, the best statement will be is that we don't, when we start talking about it as if it just should be the norm, it shouldn't be a statement. In, you know, a women's game is opening up a to tournament, so what? That's the way it should be. Yeah, absolutely. And just finally, uh, for this part, what are you most looking forward to about the tournament? Um, crowds and international players. You know, our domestic cricket is good, but it is thinly spread. You know, I looked at sides, as I said, last night, and there's some star players coming over. There's still some to be announced today in men's and women's, um, but with crowds and star players and everyone really itching to get out there and watch some live cricket, it should be fun.